We're on our last discussion of the letter A, audio, in our acronym FALL. This is the Indie Lot, and you're at the Filmmakers Boot Camp. We said a couple modules ago that audio is 50% of your production quality, and so you want to make sure you capture it good, right? Um, we've looked at a couple of the options that I use for miking, different mics, uh, one more expensive than the other. Um, but let's say that you're still in a position you're not able to get mics. What, what can you do? I want to talk about an alternative, and that is using simply um, your iPhone. Um, the other thing I've used for miking too is this iPod Touch. Remember I said this was the first camera I used um, to shoot one of my first films. Um, the it, it's also was one of the first mics I used after I learned about um, the importance of capturing audio. And so I started to use the iPod Touch. I started to use my iPhone. I remember one time I had a flannel shirt on with a pocket and I just got this iPod Toucher. You know, there's just an audio recording application on the same on the phone. I got it up and running, turned it on, you know, talked a little bit, check, check, one, two, three, right? Uh, made sure that, you know, it looked like it was capturing okay. And I just stuck it in my pocket like this and uh, made a perfect mic. My wife purchased this unit right here for me. It's a little tripod um, that you can use for an iPhone and, of course, the iPod Touch, right? And uh, I put one of those, you know, the iPhone iPod Touch into here. And I took this and I have some um, some mic stands with a, with a long boom pole. And I just took it and I just wrapped these legs, you know, around that and adjusted the boom pole so that the, the iPhone microphone was pointing at my mouth just like I would do in a regular miking situation. So if you've got an iPhone or an Android phone, um, with a recording application on it or, you know, some kind of um, digital um, player like this this iPod Touch, right? You just put a, a recording application on there and you've got yourself a microphone. Another alternative you have for miking uh, is if you're using your iPhone, you can use these um, iPhone headphones if you've got a set of these. And um, I, I bought a, a pair of them off of... Uh, um, Amazon Prime, I think I spent like 13 bucks and got a couple extra pairs just specifically for this reason. Because I, I used to use these a lot, especially in the beginning. And um, this little unit right here, this, this rectangular piece that's uh, on the wire of the earbud, this is a microphone. You can see the icon there that even shows that it's a microphone. And so you can use it like a lapel. So here I am wiring myself up. Um, the thing that you have to be careful with, though, is that uh, if you use these and you hide it under clothing and stuff like that, you want to make sure your subject's not moving a whole lot. It's it's good to use maybe if they're sitting still um, because otherwise the clothing rubs on it. So um, if they're going to have to move around, you could probably make it work and figure out a way to make sure the clothing stays off of it. But again, it works, it look, it works great in a lapel type of situation. Recording check one, two. Oops. <laughs> check one, two, check, 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 check. One, two, test. Check one, two, check one, two. Okay. Georgina has just said it for the second time. Coming to get the baby. So I don't have um, I don't have this next video that I want to show you um, anywhere 
online. So I'll just uh, play it for you right here within this training. And I won't play the whole video, but just a small portion of it. This was actually uh, one of the first um, films that I did where, in a sense, I was hired to do the film. Uh, it was a company film. There's a narration, and then um, you won't see this in the video, but there's some interviews and people making comments. And I used um, this one right here these headphones along with my iPhone. And I, I took this unit right here, the microphone, after I plugged it into the iPhone, I just set it on the table right in front of them. And they said their lines and um, did what they needed to do. It picked up perfectly. Uh, I then brought it into post and did some EQ and a little bit of cleanup. And um, it, you know, I felt like it turned out pretty good. But so there are alternatives out there um, that you can use that don't require breaking the budget and going out and, and spending a lot of money on microphones. You got an iPhone or an Android phone, okay, um, and you've got some headphones with a microphone attachment on the headphones. There you go. You've got a, a mic and lapel system, and with a little bit of creativity, you can attach your phone to a pole and, and put it over your subject out of camera and capture all your audio that way. Works great. Uh, have a look at this video. What if excellence didn't matter? What if getting the job done meant completing a task regardless of the quality of performance? What if nobody cared whether or not we improved? 